Alrighty guys, back with a quick little tour review of this 2013 Honda CRV. Now this particular trim is the EXL. So this one is top of the line for the year. This generation went from 2011 to 2014 until the new one came out. With a few minor refreshes. This one is in a nice brown color. It's actually my favorite color of the CRV. This one does have the all-wheel drive like most of them in the northern states. So yeah, it's a pretty conservative looking design. That's why I like this generation. The first generation is my favorite, and then this one is my second favorite. So I think this is the third or fourth generation. But coming to the front, you have your halogen headlights with your halogen fog lights. Coming over here to the wheels, these are 17 inch alloy wheels running on Bridgestone Dueler tires. They look all right. I mean, they're a little dirty, but they get the job done. I would like if they went bigger, but that's just me. So, coming over here to the interior. Oh, we're going to the interior now. But um, as you can see, you have a fully powered driver's seat. This does have the black leather, which I do like for this generation. I do like the gray leather Honda uses, but this one, for this generation, I do like this. Let's unlock all the doors, because they were locked, but um, yeah, let's jump in this one. So yeah, and this is just a very, you know, it feels, you feel very comfortable when you get in here, because you have your captain's chairs armrests. I mean, you're not fighting over a console. You have your storage in here, which is pretty decently finished off. You have your heated seats, high and low. Your power outlet, 12 volt. Um, yeah, this is a 5-speed automatic, dual zone climate control with EXL. I don't think this is Honda's MyLink, but I could be wrong, so don't quote me. Then here's your radio controls and then all your other crap. Um, you have your wood grain, I would like to say. It looks alright, doesn't look too bad, but you know, it gets the job done. This is a leather wrapped steering wheel. Here's all your settings, your you know, all your stuff. Bluetooth. Your gauges, now these are my favorite gauges in the class, actually, believe it or not. You know, it's it's this car in the Escape I really do like in the class. I don't know why, but I've really opened my eyes up to foreign cars lately, and, you know, they really do surprise me. So coming over here to the door panels, they are a harder touch. I mean, they're not too bad, but they are hard touch, and they don't feel good. Over here, you have, you have a very nice leather padded insert right here, which this is where it counts for me, at least. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors. Track control, tire pressure sensor stuff, econ mode, which basically just dims down your throttle. Over here, you have your automatic lights, fog lights on off. Um, up here to the dash, it is a all hard touch. You know, again, not too nice, but it is put together decently. I mean, some of the line, fit lines aren't the best, but you know, I could just complain about it. But who really gives a crap? Glove box down here, all your Honda manuals and such, like your navigations, and I don't want to go into that, but. It's an all right feeling book. At least they give you a book on like GM. And I do like the leather Honda it uses. It's the ruffled material, which I really do like. And it feels somewhat of a high quality. Like it, it feels loose, -ish, loose. If you can get what I'm saying, it feels better than the Ford leather because it feels like you actually have a seating material, and they're very comfortable. And up here you have your moonroof controls and all that stuff. Your garage door and all that stuff. This one has around 30,000 miles on it. And then right here you have a light of mirror. Headliner is not nothing to go crazy over, but it's all right. And the motor, I don't want to pop the hood. We've all seen this. It's a 2.4 liter, four cylinder. Um, let's see what else. We'll check out the rear now. So coming back here, basically the same seating materials as the front to fold the seats. You basically just lift that up and they fall down and that jumped on me, but yeah, that kind of jumped on me. Um, yeah, anyways, coming back here, you get pretty good legroom, um, you know, nothing too bad. I mean, it's good legroom, flat floor, dual mat pockets, pretty good. Um, no cup holders down there. They are right here in this thingy. Let me just get it out. And the, this goes up nicely when you do that. But yeah, cup holders right here. Materials do follow through to the back, which are very nice. I really do like the Honda leather. Does it have side curtain area bags as well? And the materials back here are the same as front. Very nice. At least they do follow through with the leather stitching. You have handles right here, which are damped as well. And then there's your little hook. Then here's the front one more time. I really do like this combination. If I was to get a Honda, this is or a CRV, this is the one. This is the combination I would get it in. Storage down there. Coming to the trunk. Very easy. Struts are really nice, actually. Down here you have a kind of a lower floor, which is nice. So it carries a lot. You have your Honda cargo cover here. I don't know if this is an accessory or not. I could be wrong. Then just to fold the seats, you just pull these and then they fold down flat, which the seat belt's holding that one. And then, okay, that's stuck. But yeah, your netting here, 
Under here, do you have a spare tire, which I think it's a full size. So yeah, there you go. Wow. Anyways, guys, as usual, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you all later.